opening up your DVM rapid test instrument packages. First package is the DVM rapid test sperm concentration unit. All the items here are included. Allows you to do the test other than you have to purchase the reagents and the pipette tips. The second unit is the DVM rapid test multi-test. This unit uh, performs both IgG tests on serum and colostrum on several species and also uh, sperm concentration for equine. All the items included. Again, you need to purchase additional reagents <clears throat> to do the test and pipette tips. first thing that we need to do is check the calibration of our instrument. The calibration test is performed by using the turbidity standards that are included with the kit and using the instrument we turn the instrument on by pressing the on off button and then we will see that a test designation comes up that is one of the tests that are listed here on the, the instruction sheet. The ESC stands for equine sperm concentration and that is the program that we use to check the turbidity standards. The turbidity standards come with a product insert that provides ranges of values that you should obtain with each one of the turbidity standards. If this is a means of checking that the instrument is operating properly from an electronic standpoint. To start the test, we take out the green cap, zero or blank two, place it in the reader and press the zero button. The instrument will flash for eight seconds and then come up with three zeros with three dots. We take the second standard, or the first standard, 200, mix it up, place it in, hit the zero run button again. We get a value of 213, we check, and it's between our 199 and 229. We run the 400, same way, press the zero run key, 471, which is in our range, then we run the 600, press the zero run key again, 923, it's in our range. So the instrument is then validate as being operated properly. Okay, the first test that we're gonna run on the DVM rep test, multi-test, sperm concentration. We run this program on this under the ESC program. Also, you'll note that in your manual that comes with, there is a pictorial procedure that details out how to actually run the test. The other items that we need is a semen uh, sample our pipette tips, and a pack of the sperm concentration reagent. For each sperm concentration, we only need one two. We turn the instrument on. It's already on the correct program. If it wasn't on the correct program, we use the mode key, which toggles through all the tests until you get to the one that you want to run, which is the ESC. The standard test is run with the orange 25 microliter pipette and the yellow tips and a sample. On this particular test, there's no sample blank. You blank with the reagent. So we place the reagent in, hit the zero test button, we get our three zeros. We place a pipette tip on very firmly mix up our semen sample fill up 
up the pipette. Wipe the outside of the pipette tip. Take the tube that you blanked with, put your sample in, pipette tip in, and rinse up and down several times and hold the pipette plunger down on the last, when you're withdrawing the pipette. And mix gently five times. Place it in the instrument. Press the run test button again. And you'll get a number. This number is at, represents 185 million, or 185 times 10 to the 6 per ml. In order, if you wanted to run a second semen sample, you can get a new tube, place it in, and hold the zero test button for five seconds, and then the instrument will go back to zero so that you can run the next sample. What we're going to run is a serum IgG test. On the DVM rapid test tube, we have it's programmed to run serum IgG tests on equine, bovine, and camelid. All of these have separate functions that are listed here as your programs. In your operator manual, there's also a section for running serum IgG tests. That's pictorial and goes through all the different steps that you have to do to run the test. To run the test, we just need a serum IgG kit. Today we're running the equine IgG. We have to have a serum sample. In this case, we're just going to run the control that comes with the kits. The pipette tips, the 10 microliter pipetter, and the timer that's included with your system. The IgG kits come with reagents, blanks, additional pipette tips that you can use to refill your pipette tip box, and a control. There are two product inserts included. One gives the details of the test and how to run the test is also printed on the back. The other is a data sheet for the control that's included with the test, giving you the range of values that are appropriate for that control. So what we need to do is we take out one pink cap tube sample blank and one clear cap tube, which is the reagents. Place the pipette tip on very firmly on the white pipetter. Press the plunger down, put the tip into the sample and slowly release. You should have a sample. You wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles in that sample. Take a tissue and gently wipe the outside of the tube. First load the pink cap tube, which is your blank. Put the tip in and rinse the tip out several times. Again, remember to push down before you withdraw the tip. We acquire a new tip. Get a second sample. Again, make sure that sample is, tip is clean. We open up our clear cap tube. Rinse the sample in. It's the cap on both of them. Mix them five times and start the timer. 10 minutes is up. We turn the instrument on. We use the mode key to toggle until we get to equine serum IgG, ESIG. We take the blank tube, mix it, make sure the outside of the tube is clean. 
place it in, hit the zero test key. We get our three zeros. We mix our sample tube. Make sure the outside is clean, press it in, hit the zero test key. We get a value of 918. What you'll also notice is that on the IgG test, both a small word, a small in small letters in the upper left-hand corner will be Cal, and then there'll be an arrow pointing to the Cal symbol on the instrument. This means that the instrument, the test on this instrument is properly calibrated. If you do not see those, then you need to contact customer service. It does not mean that the instrument needs to be calibrated. Again, it means that the, that the test is properly calibrated. Because we ran the control, we can also look at the control sheet. And on this particular control, the values for serum should be between 784 and 1168. And we got 918, which is very close to the mean value. So that means the test is running very, the reagents are working very good. One other note that we wanted to make, on the in product insert that explains the test and how to run it, there's also expected values that you, can, you should be looking for in terms of what is the appropriate level and what are diagnostic levels for IgG and Foles listed here. Okay. Now we're gonna run a colostrum test and we need a colostrum kit, colostrum sample, 10 microliter pipette, pipette tips, the timer in the instrument, and some wipes, of course. The colostrum kit comes, well, we also, my apologies, we also need the 1ml pipette. The colostrum kit comes with everything you need to run it. Pipette tips for the 1ml, sample blank, reagent tube, and then the green cap tubes are a, dil a diluent tube. The diluent is used to dilute the colostrum because otherwise the colostrum testing would be have a very narrow range. This allows us to get a much broader range with the colostrum because we're diluting out the IgG into the linear range of the instrument. There's also a a control and the control can be run the same as a sample with the exception it is not diluted. So in order to do our test we need one of each of the colored tubes first step is to take one of the large white pipe white pipette tips and place it very firmly on the end of this 1ml pipette. We open up our green cap tube, mix up our colostrum sample, plus it's a one-step pipetter so it's just one push down, place it in and slowly draw it up into the, make sure there's no air bubbles. Again, wipe off the outside of the tip, place it in the solution, and pipe it up and down several times so that you get a good mix. And mix it up again. And then this sample is run just like a serum sample using the 10 microliter pipette. Instead of doing serum, we're just going to do this diluted colostrum. Take a 10 microliter sample, wipe off the outside pipette tip, do your blank tube first, rinse out the pipette tip. Get a new tip, a new sample.
example. Add the sample to your reagent tube. Rinsing up and down. Mix the tubes five times and hit your sample or your timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so now it's 10 minutes later. You turn the instrument on. You want to go to equine colostrum IgG. So that would be ECIG, which is actually the next test. So now we're ready to go. We mix our tube up, wipe off the outside. Hit the zero key, get our zero, mix up our re reagent sample, wipe off the outside of the tube, place it in the instrument, hit the test key, and we get a result. And again, you'll see the cal and the arrow along with your result. And so, this particular colostrum would be a good quality colostrum, 68-30-23. Again, each kit comes with a product insert, how to run the test. There is, there are no, the dip values for colostrum vary from one area to another. But again, you'll get that, you'll get the product insert, and you'll also get an insert that has the control ranges for colostrum, which are down at the bottom. The values for the serum testing are above.